This is Matrix Lord 212, and today is a beautiful, beautiful day. I'm on a personal journey, uh, but I gotta say that uh, every single time I'm out and about, some Doctor Who news comes in, and it's like, ah, oh, I wanna report it, but you know what? I'm out and about, so. Uh, what I want to talk about today is is basically uh, peace, and and the thing is, what does peace mean to you? Because peace can mean a numerous amount of things. It could mean you know that you're looking for um, something to do with the, the inner peace, uh, you know, where you need to accept yourself for who you are, uh, to motivate yourself out of depression. Uh, for a better way of life for yourself, or it can mean, you know, actual peace with the, you know, the world. And the thing is that sometimes you get into a depression so bad, and, and you got to come to terms with yourself and your situation, uh, and, and, and try to snap yourself out of uh, the bad luck and all the bad things happening to you. And, and sometimes, you know, even the motivator, uh, like me, who likes to motivate people and help people with my books, sometimes I need motivation. And... You know what, I gotta say that my girlfriend is like the greatest girlfriend in the universe, my girlfriend Sharon, because little things here and there kind of snap me back to reality and make me see uh, things in a different light. And you know what, sometimes you get sucked down you don't realize it, you know what I mean? And you would never know if someone's depressed or upset or whatever. So, you know, it, it, it's a thing, I'll tell you, it's a journey. I'm going out, I'm going to visit uh, my aunt, but it's a journey about really getting out myself, getting out and, uh, you know, seeing where the world takes me and different things. And, and you know, I, I love doing the books. I love writing the books. I love helping people. And, uh, you know, the meaning of the books always changes, like different situations, different time periods. Uh, and there will be many more books to come uh, in the Sorrow Separation series, the Tomorrow Song series. It isn't just about one thing, but it is about, like, the main character, the man of nothing. So... Uh, I just want to say, guys, that, uh, you know, hopefully you could find your inner peace out there. You could get out of your rut, out of your depression. You know, it could be a financial thing, which a lot of times in life, finances really kind of bring you down, whether it be like out of work or, um, you know, you, you got writer's block or something. So uh, you really need to, you know, get out there and, and get yourself together, as my mom would say. So uh, other than that, guys, uh, enjoy your day. Hopefully we'll get some Doctor Who news today. Uh, and I'm writing some new books actually now too. So uh, I, that's that's the thing. I'm always writing different books at different times. You know, I'll, I'll work on a few pages on one book, a few pages on the book. But the new books are not going to come probably for not for another couple months because right now the finances are not there. I got to take care of business. I got to take care of bills, and I'm the responsible one. So you know, I don't I don't like I'm not selfish. If I owe people money or I owe bills or something, I got to take care of business. You know, and once all that's settled and done. Uh, it, it's going to be time to do the books, uh, as always. Um, you know, and I look forward to spending time with my children. That's always the highlight of my life. Uh, and my, and my, my kids, you know, bring out the best in me and my girlfriend too. And I just want you guys to know that when you think that there's, there is no more answers and there's no more solutions, and, and, and when everything is so dark where you can't even see, you need to, like, concentrate. You need to close your mind. Because always in the darkest place is there is always a glimmer of light that can snap you back into reality. It could be a word. It could be a song. It could be a, a, a phrase. It could be someone pissing you off. And, 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 and believe it or not, like, inspiration comes from everywhere. And, and things can happen to get you out of your depression. So, um, really... Always know that there's always a solution, always. And when you don't think there's a solution, there is a solution, okay? And and, and never, never, never give up. And never, like, give up on your life and, and do something horrible like that. Always continue on and, and try to find a solution. F try to find yourself, all right? And that's it. Enjoy your day, people. Uh, beautiful day, like I say. It's, it's, you know, finally, hopefully spring stays and there's no snow and everything here in Staten Island. Um, but you know what? You just got to... In life, you gotta find inner peace. You gotta find peace within yourself. You gotta find peace in the Lord. The Lord, you know, God's always there for you. You know, I mean, you don't have to think, the thing is like, you know, some people don't go to church every week. They pray to God every day. And you know what, as long as you have God in your heart, and you believe in God, then, then you know, God's always with you no matter what. And even when I lost my faith, God was with me. And there was divine intervention and he stepped in and he woke me up to reality. So always know that there is a higher power, there is God. 
uh, and always have faith because you always have to have faith, you know. And you know what? When you have faith and you have a clear conscience and when you're positive, uh, it, your life is positive, okay? When you have negativity in your life and you let it consume you, your life is negative. So be positive. Always try to find the positive things in life. And some things you can't change, you know, and, and you got to adapt. you got to adapt to the world. you got to adapt to yourself. you got to make changes in your life. And that's what you got to do, right? So take care. Bye for now.